Tesla's up 6% today. And what we're going to look at right now is the call out that we actually had on Tesla. So I posted this earlier this morning, and this is going to be a one hour time frame. So far, it's working out to perfection. But I think that there's actually a much bigger trade setting up for us to test $228. So we're going to cover both of those right now in this video. So I posted this on X. This was actually yesterday at noon. So if you guys want to get some of my free trades, go ahead and check out my X account. I post a lot of basically all my Tesla trades over there. So I said that there was a bullish shark in play. Now a bullish shark is actually a harmonic pattern and I use a lot of different types of patterns and indicators. But one of my plans here is to actually be able to share with you guys in the future, a harmonic indicator give you guys the exact setup so that you can follow along with all of the trades that I have right now. But basically a harmonic pattern forms when we think that there's a potential bottom forming. And so you can see that this shark harmonic pattern that formed is right about 72% of the time at the bottom left here. And if we would have followed this shark over the past 223 trades, we would have had a return of 132%. And so I posted this here on Sunday saying historically 73% of the time we're correct. We've sold off into our daily order block, which we're going to talk about that now. A lot of people had questions about that. And I said, now we're looking for a reason to bounce. We're looking to push back to $185 from here, which is 14% recovery. Stop loss would be $147. This does not mean that we will bounce. However, with multiple signs or high confluence, taking a great setup like this will always be worth it. And so what ended up happening was we had a big break, push through 165. And in most cases, we will see Tesla at least continue to push in the next couple of days, I think, up to $177. So we're not, with this shorter time frame, we're not expecting some massive trend reversal. What we're really looking for is a push back up to test this level realistically before we make a lower low. Now on the bigger time frame, if we just actually zoom out even further and we move to the daily chart, you're going to see that we have another bullish shark forming here, this time on a much bigger time frame. Now the returns for this is going to be 75% or 139% in total, but the T1 success rate is 71. Now the cool thing is with right now an RVR of two with a 70% success rate, you can be more than successful. If you guys look at my year to date return so far, we're up $176,000, but my win rate is only 62%. I am not highly, highly accurate. And you don't have to be. And when you're trading, that's not how you're supposed to be. Now, honestly, from like the best traders that I actually know. Now, when you look at this setup here, this is something worth taking, I think. You're looking, best entry would have been this morning. Looking at the next couple of months, we will have to swing this through earnings, obviously. But with a take profit up around 230, that gives us a 40% move to the upside. And with a stop loss down at 130, that gives us an 18% move to the downside. So once again, this is not a short-term trade, and this is not something with a high RVR, but this is something with a very high success rate that when you're sitting at a even one RVR with a 73% success rate is really, really good. Now, the same type of post that I put out earlier, but this one's for the daily chart, saying once again, 73% test, 73% chance that we're gonna come back up to retest. Once again, this retest here would not be a trend reversal. Right, it would actually potentially reject here and that would be our time to go short again. So this isn't saying that we think we're gonna break up into all time highs. This is saying we think we're just gonna push back up to test this level. And so I do think that over the next couple of months, we have a really, really good setup here on Tesla. Now, if we look zooming out at a bigger time frame here, you guys are going to see that this is a daily chart for Tesla. I'm gonna go through and actually look at the multi time frame analysis. And what this is going to do is actually give us the ability to look at the order blocks on multiple time frames. Now my chart coloring here probably looks crazy. I'm messing with some new indicators, but basically these purple blocks that you see on the screen, these are the bearish order blocks and the blue are the bullish order blocks. And this different color indicator, it's called a chats indicator that I've been messing with for the past couple of days. But basically if it's over a certain level, it turns green and gives us you know bullish momentum, which I have Honestly, about 15 different indicators that I have custom settings to that I plan to share with you and share in our Discord community, which if you're not a part of the private community, you need to go be part of the Discord. It's five bucks a month. There's so much stuff over there. We put it behind a paywall just so it's only for serious people and no scammers. 
but I plan to give out a lot of different indicators and a suite of different types of bots, which is gonna be really cool. But looking here, we have a couple of important things to notice, right? These big purple order blocks here, the ones that are not in dotted lines, these are daily order blocks. The weekly order blocks are going to be ones that are in dotted lines. So you can see here that if we weren't looking at multi time frame analysis, meaning that we're looking at the weekly chart and the daily chart at the same time, if we're just looking at the weekly, we have order block support down here. But if we look at just the daily, we have another order block support here. So what I like to do is run both of them. And I like to do that using Spider. And so what we're looking at here is our first order block. This is the one that I was talking about in this initial post saying $165. We pulled back into that block. The order block that I was talking about was this low back here on May 1st of 2023. Now, a lot of people ask me, how do you find order blocks? What are order blocks, et cetera, et cetera. You can use plenty of indicators. You have a private one that's just for our students that we created, a Smart Money Concepts one, that's in our Discord community for private members. And then the other thing that we have, which is really cool, is there's like, Logo I think has one as well, but I wanna teach you guys how to actually draw them because people think that order blocks is like live flow or some live order that's coming into the market and pushing the stock up. When in reality, the way that you just draw an order block is that you have to be looking at the overall trend right? So a support has to be broken or a structure has to be broken. In this instance here, you can see that this was a structure, a support level where we ended up you know, bouncing before. So if we were drawing this out, this would be called break of structure. But instead of saying like support and break of resistance, we just use structure as like a generalized line. And so when this structure is broken, what we're looking for is the very last red candle that is moving this impulse to the downside. And so that very last candle that we have here, right right before this green impulse, if we were to just draw out a line, the low of that red candle is here at 153.26. Then we would draw another line to the high of that candle, which is going to be $160. And so now, because structure was broken, because we made a lower low, and because this last candle here now becomes our order block. And the reason we know it's an order block is because after we made that low, and this is the most important thing, we don't know it's an order block until after four candles. Once we push four candles up and take out these highs, now we know that that's an order block and that there's a good chance that we're gonna bounce. And so this order block, all this shows is that now there's a very high chance that at some point we are going to pull back in to test this block. And look at what happened. We pulled right down to this order block at 160, you know, 160 and we bounced. So the way that you draw an order block is just by finding those lows. I and mean, we wanna look at any bullish or bearish order blocks here. All we have to do is find this high, the high hat high was not taken out. And so now we know that if we look at these candles here, these are going to be roughly where our order blocks are going to be placed, right? And I'm not like an ICT mentee or anything like I've done any of that, but all the order block is, is a recent high or a recent low that has not been taken out. Remember, it has to break structure. And it also has to show, like potentially here, we don't know if this is, and I didn't plan on making this like an order block thing, but I think it's just important because a lot of people ask me about it. But this here could be an order block because structure was broken. We made this impulse. This is the last low here, right? The last red candle before we're potentially, we don't know yet, but potentially making an impulse to the upside. The thing is we don't know if this is an order block until multiple days pass and we're still trading up above that level. Now, as far as Tesla, I'm still holding on to my April calls and I, or I have September calls as well. And I think that we're going to probably see a move in September, at least hopefully back up to $223. I will have to hold that trade throughout, uh, or it's definitely going to be a problem. We've seen a lot of unusual options activity coming through on Tesla as far as size. Today, we have not seen much, only $7 million. Now, I did a whole live stream with the private Discord community going over unusual flow, but I saw a lot of questions and comments within that, uh, you know, on X and also within that video that we've recently done saying, hey, if all of this options activity, all these calls are coming into Tesla, how come Tesla's fucking cratering? And the answer to that is that the derivatives market, so basically you have a derivative, 
which is a financial instrument that trades based off of an underlying asset. So if you're trading Tesla calls, whether you're a day trader, swing trader, or you're holding them long term, you're trading a derivative. The options contract and the options market is a derivatives market. They trade off of an underlying asset such as Tesla stock. So when Tesla stock moves, and this is the most important thing, when the underlying asset moves, it will always affect the derivative. So this is futures, this is anything, right? But when the derivative actually has volume on it, that derivative will not move the underlying stock. So if $500 million worth of calls come into Tesla, right? There's like very rare to where it will actually, that's a more advanced technique we'll talk in the future, but it's very rare when that happens. But in 99.9% .9 of cases, if you see hundreds of millions of dollars worth of calls coming into Tesla, it's not going to move Tesla stock. It has nothing to do with Tesla's market cap. It has nothing to do with Tesla shares and it will not move Tesla stock most of the time. And so it's very important because this is where we get to see divergences. When we see things like, for instance, Google, which I didn't want to do a video section in this, but this is very important. If you go to our blog or our website, thtcommunity.com, you guys just make sure the same, we're not financial advisors. You can see all of our returns and sign up for our private discord if you want. But if you just go to the analysis and blog section for free, you'll see all the unusual flow that came through. And back here on March 7th, we talked about Google and we saw a ton of Google calls coming through like hundreds of millions of dollars worth. And we were saying, listen, Google is shitting the bed. Google was dying at the time, right? This is before the bounce here on March 7th. Google was fading for a very long time. And if we look at this blog post, this was a screenshot, this gold line represents the price of the contracts. They went from $16 per contract down to $4 per contract. But vertical bars here, you can see this last vertical bar that was gold, was the amount of call volume for that option. So the actual stock is down the actual calls are down almost 80% and they are buying 16, 17, 18,000 of them. What do you think that is? That's very unusual for them to be buying something that's shitting the bed. And then look what happens right after, right? We posted the discord and from that moment, Google ripped 14% within one week and one day. I think somebody knew that, you know, obviously it had aggressively. And I think that also somebody knew about the uh, Apple deal potentially happening to use Gemini. And so we, that's why we post all the unusual stuff like that in the, in the Discord. What you need to be looking for is divergences like that. And so when we see a bunch of, of big money buying up Tesla, and we see Tesla pulling into an old bullish zone, and we see that Tesla's getting the shit beat out of it, and we have, on top of that, a harmonic pattern in play that's right 80% of the time nearly, there's no reason not to take a trade. And when I say it in that manner, I don't mean... It's such a high conviction that you need to load up on everything that you have and take the position because that's fucking stupid. Even if you have an 80 to 90% win rate, you can't load up on everything you have. Once again, I only have a 62% win rate this year. Long term, it's like 75%. This year has sucked in the beginning of it. You can see here, January was a little bit of a bloodbath for me, but... It's not about winning every single time. It's about taking all the great setups that are in front of you, not worrying about what's going to happen in the next couple of trades, but knowing that over the long run, you can be confident in your strategy, confident in your abilities, and know that you're never gonna put yourself in a shitty situation from a financial point to where you're gonna blow your account up. So I hope this helps. If you guys wanna trade with me every single day, get access to all of my trades, all of my trading bots, our private indicators, as well as our live streams and much more, Check out the second link in the description to become part of our Discord community. It's a premium role, so it's not the $5 a month role. It is the $50 a month role. Uh, and then we will be opening up our private mentorship group once again this year. Thanks for all support, guys. I truly mean it from the bottom of my heart. The past couple of years have been so fucking dope. And I feel that we're scratching the surface with what, with what we can hear. And what I want to do is instead of saying like, all right, cool, let's just on the, the winning traders and focus on like I want to really show what I'm doing and, and how I think about this from a business standpoint to the fucking masses because I believe when we look at the next 10 to 20 years there's going to be no shortage of winning algorithms 
no shortage of winning trading bots, no shortage of ways to make money, but what there will be a shortage in is leaders and people who can keep others accountable and communities. That is what I think is going to be so fucking scarce and so rare. And the reason that our students do so well is once again, not because our trading strategy is like a sniper, but because I'm there holding them accountable and saying shit like this, right? Looking at, at March, saying when we're down $35,000, I'm sorry, in January, when we're down $35,000 in January and my students are messaging me, which I understand why, right? Saying, dude, do you think this works? Do you think that, do you think that we should reconsider the strategy? Are you sure that, the, and trust me, I'm doing this publicly. People are following me. I don't want people to lose money, but it's about being able to stand there and say, no, nah, man, January sucks, but I know that over time it works. And we follow it up with February, $138,000 with a 72% win rate. And then as of right now, month to date, $73,000 with a 62% win rate. And so what's going to be more important to me going into the future really is community accountability and actually being able to show people like this is how you say the shit that you say you're going to stick to. And this is how you learn to think like a professional. And so I hope this helps guys a little bit longer of a video. I'm going to be doing another one on SMCI, which we close out about $32,000 uh, in SMCI shorts. So I'm going to go through that later on tonight. Thank you guys. I'll see you next time.